Hey everyone, in this video I will show you how we can handle merging in Cloud Firebase Firestore. So for now we are using this form to fill the data in Firestore and we are getting the name, email and one boolean value for update this one updates and another one is it's and if user fills this data and if user clicks on the add button then we are adding the data in the firestore project so for this uh, we are adding the document as per the email so if users uh, add some different data for the same email then it replaces the data so let me suppose for this one username at the rate email.com currently the name is username let me change the name to something else like username2 and for the email let me give it a same the same email then receive update is currently true let me send this to false and it's let me send it to 23 now if i click on add you can see that these values are changed okay so suppose you want to change any of this field name and suppose you change the age to user age user age okay now let me restart it let's see what it will do now so if i go to this cloud forester activity and the username let me change it to username three and the email i need to add the same email username at right, email.com and let me send it to true and it's suppose it is 24. now if i add it you can see that the user is is added and the age is removed but uh, it in your production app if you make any changes to the collection then it might cause some issues for example if your user is using the old version of the app then for that app we you have to use this types of collection and uh, that have this age property but if you add one release with the new field name user age and if it deletes the old age property then it will be an issue so for that you can use one option while adding this new field name and that's called merge so while you are setting the data using this set method you have to pass one more uh, parameter here so it's called set options dot merge and we have to import this let me import the set options and let's see so you can see that it is imported from this firestore set options and now let me restart it again it's restarted but let me delete this one user it okay you can delete it from here as well and let me uh, give one more field it's then let's say it is starting so okay now if i open this firestore activity and name let's change it to username for and the email let's give the same email username at email.com and updates let's make it false and for this one let's use it 14 and i'm reading it now you can see that it added this new property it's not replaced it's not actually deleting deleted this property so this flag makes you to use this flag if you are making any changes to the hash map actually you can always use this option while using set because if you are or if some other developer sends anything to the hash map or this map then it will not affect to the data so that's all for now if you have any questions please drop on comment below and if you have not subscribed to my channel please do subscribe and please like the video thanks bye